A family claims their 82-year-old mother found a handful of a disturbing object in her orange juice purchased at the Real Canadian Superstore in West Kelowna. I have no idea what that stuff is, but I'm worried because she's, you know, she's 80, going on 82 years old, and I don't think anybody should have been consuming that. To maintain the privacy of his mother-in-law and help her in the situation, Scott immediately contacted the Superstore himself and told them what happened. They said to phone the, the number on the container, which was, I guess, President's Choice, and they gave us a file number and said they'd get back to us. And so far, it's been, a, it's been the second day, I guess, and they still haven't got back to us yet. Scott describes the object as having a human bone-like consistency. He allowed me to feel it for myself, and it does feel a bit like ear cartilage, but it seems like it could also be a rotten orange peel. I reached out to Superstore's parent company, Loblaw Companies Limited, and provided them a photo as well as a description of the object. Here's what a spokesperson for the company had to say. We can understand how unsettling this must have been for all involved and sincerely apologize for any stress this may have caused. On the rare occasion when the quality of a product falls below our standards, an investigation is launched. Although the object is concerning, there have been many food scams over the past few decades of people claiming to have found objects in their food purchased from big corporations. So I thought it was only fair to ask, what would you say to people who think it might be a hoax? Uh, I, I really can't uh, see an 82-year-old woman uh, fibbing anything about uh, orange juice that she usually buys from Superstore. Who deciphers the validity of these claims? And if true, what's the protocol in how unsanitary food incidents are dealt with? The Government of Canada says the Canadian Food Inspection Agency is responsible for safeguarding food, animals and plants, which enhances the health and well-being of Canada's people. In an email, the CFIA told Castanet, if a consumer submits a food safety complaint, the CFIA follows up with the complainant, the retailer and the manufacturer to determine if a food safety investigation is required. Anyone with a food safety concern is encouraged to submit it through the agency's website. I don't want to see some little kid or some older person get deathly ill or super sick from this stuff. Scott has set up a doctor's appointment for his mother-in-law to ensure she hasn't ingested anything toxic. He will also bring a sample of this object to the doctor to get a second opinion on what it might be. Castanet News will update this story as soon as more information becomes available and as soon as we find out what this object is. For Castanet News in West Kelowna, I'm Amandalina Leterio.